Hi guys, welcome back to another From the Floor and today we're going to discuss this RCPC. Uh, it's an iron series model. This is a, one of our duplex units. You've got two seven and a half horsepower motors here, equivalent to a 15 horsepower single motor unit. So a lot of people ask, you know, why would I need a cast iron compressor versus an aluminum compressor? Of course, the aluminum is going to be a little less expensive, but the problem is, is you only get about a 50% duty cycle. That means the compressor can only run 50% of the time. Now with a cast iron pump, you get 75 to 80% duty cycle, which means it can run 75 to 80% of the time. That means you get more output for the time that you're running the compressor. You run one pump at a time. Don't need a lot of air. You're only running a few air tools here and there. We only have one pump running. But then let's say you've got a sandblaster and you need to kick that on at some point in time. Then our other pump comes on. So what we have is an alternator panel down here on the front of the machine. What this does is it swaps the pumps back and forth and that keeps the load from being all on one pump at any given time. Right here at the bottom, you have a connection. This is where you're gonna hook up your electrical power. So this particular unit is gonna be a 208 or 230 volt single phase unit. Now from here, you've got your contactors, which basically start and stop your compressors. You also have your timer. Now that's what alternates the compressors back and forth. So one of the other things you're gonna to wanna to look for on your compressor is you really want a belt guard after cooler. Now this is an after cooler that's mounted outside of the belt guard as the name implies. The air runs through this and is cooled down before it enters the tank. Now what that does is it prevents moisture from building up in your lines and also in your equipment. Another great feature that we have on a lot of our piston units is a low oil level switch. Now what this does is this will actually stop the electric motor if the oil level falls below a certain level. Now what that'll do is it'll prevent any kind of damage happening to your compressor because of low oil situations. Thanks for checking us out today, guys. Hope you learned a little bit more about Chicago Pneumatic Compressors and what we have to offer. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can check us out on cpcompressors.com, fill out a form and we'll get back to you.